Hey Glenn, I've got a weird request for you. Would you be able to take a giant gummy alligator and incorporate it into some terrain? Yeah, sure, let's do this. Hi again, welcome to Wogscapes. Uh, yeah, so one of my regular customers came to me and, and asked if I could make this gummy into a piece of terrain. Uh, of course the answer is yes. Um, I just had to figure out how. So this thing is massive, right? It's, here's my head, here's the gator, right? Um, Okay, so it's made of sugar and jello or whatever, so I need to figure out how I can make this not ruin the table and other pieces. Uh, my first idea was maybe to make like a mold of it and then cast it so that it's not the actual piece, but it still has the same shape. Uh, and then I can make like a alligator mound or something. I don't know, I was playing around with that idea. And then the wife said, well... Just set it in terrain, or into a, pl uh, <laughs> resin. Yeah, into resin. Um, yeah, right. So then just, you know, reverse engineering from that. Why is this thing in resin? Um, make a, a little terrain scene out of this. And I thought that the easiest would be a, something that looks like a lizardman breeding pool type thing, right? Like there's some sort of a, a font, a pool and steps maybe leading up to it, some kind of altar, right? And this thing is sitting in the bottom of it. Um, and yeah. So two concerns I had with this plan. Number one, what is this gummy gonna do when it's sitting in the resin? Um, I don't know what's in that resin, right? So is that gonna dissolve the, the sugar or something and turn this into goo as soon as I drop it in? Um, so I needed to do a test. So I bought some gummies and I found a little gummy hippo and I set him in just a little block, right? Uh, it works great. There's no problems at all. You can see him in there. There he is. Hippo. Looks pretty good. Um, as I was working on it, when I made my little, uh, use tuck tape, of course, right? Little box. And I set this thing in and I poured the resin in and like it's disappeared because the sides were red and the gummy was red and the way the light just came in, the red disappeared. Um, so same kind of thing here, right? Can't really see him. So if there's no light coming through, you're not going to be able to see this. So that's another concern, another reason to do this little test. If I've got this thing encased in a piece of terrain and you're going to look down into it, you're not going to see that. You need to have light coming through. You can cover the sides, um, but you can't encase the whole thing. So my solution was, I've got a whole bunch of these things from Amazon, just fairy lights. I will have this, have this thing set in, but I'm going to backlight it. So, oh, look how, oh, it's so pretty. So there's going to be like a glow coming out like that. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. So that's what we're going to do. So I have to think about how I'm going to incorporate this sucker now into the terrain piece. Uh, like I said, I want a wall. I want steps. Uh, I'm going to have like a plinth. Uh, something where your shaman or whatever would stand when summoning Offler, the crocodile god here. Um, and that's where I'm going to hide this battery pack, which obviously you want to be able to get to the on off switch here, but you also want to be able to get this thing, uh, and get the batteries out of it there, right? To change batteries. Yeah. And of course, the last thing I have to think about is the treatment on this terrain piece. Um, the client has a winter heart theme, so elves... Um, forest, plains, kind of terrain with, uh, lots of snow. So how is this, uh, tropical alligator rainforest thing existing in this world? 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bottom of the terrain piece ice and frozen, and the pool itself is heated either with whatever torches or lava or whatever geothermic something or other, or the whatever alligator god himself uh, is uh, is somehow magically heating it. But either way. It's not going to be ice on top. It is going to be heated and I want to have some big leafy grassy planty things growing around and moss and algae um, in the water. And then as you come down the terrain piece closer to the edges, it kind of comes down to some ice and slush and icicles uh, and then snow at the bottom. So it looks like this could be set on this guy's board. Um, so it is a little bit weird, it is a little bit out of place, so it sh but it should still look like it belongs. So that's the other challenge. Alright, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, next video is going to be how I make this thing. Which, I don't actually know how I'm going to do it yet. I have an idea. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe.